So I'm here with um, Lassina Dembele, who is um, a staff associate at ICTP, and I thought I'd ask him a couple of questions. Um, so tell us um, a bit about your career somehow. You, uh, I know you were born in Cote d'Ivoire, and uh, how, um, how was your mathematical career? <laughs> interesting question. So I was born in the Ivory Coast, as you said. I did my undergrad there, and then I went to Canada for my postgraduate studies. And until then, I really didn't know much about mathematical research. So, so postgraduate, you mean masters or masters and then PhD. And this in Canada was in Montreal. Yeah. So the master was. And how was that transition from Côte d'Ivoire to Montréal? Uh, quite challenging because the two systems are quite different. So, <laughs> yeah, I mean, so, but it was fun in some ways. I mean, so you have to learn to adjust. So, um, yeah, it was a very interesting example. Uh, so your, your mother tongue, uh, or at least a language you spoke uh, at home, was French? Um, no, actually... With my parents, I don't speak French. I only learned French at school because it's the official language in the Ivory Coast and it's the language in which the education is done. So, um, yeah. So, but, but language was not a, no, a sort of language, difficulty moving to Montreal? No, the language wasn't the barrier, at least for the master, because I did that in French. But for the PhD, then I had to improve my English. So... That was also another fun challenge for me. Um, yeah, I mean, <laughs> I did uh, <laughs> one anecdote that I remember. My first class of calculus, uh, uh, I think after the class, or maybe, I mean, I should say the evaluation, not the class itself. One of the evaluation was uh, very good math skill, but poor English. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> Very knowledgeable, but poor English skills. So it means that I did have to improve my English. Um, but yeah, I still laugh about that that, uh, <laughs> that evaluation. And um, in terms of preparation, um, uh, making a sort of a cultural transition, sort of both cultural and sort of scientific, was that that was difficult, or how was that? I guess the thing is that I honestly didn't know what to expect. So, I mean, because, so in some sense, I didn't think that there was that much challenge in traditional transitioning, at least not um, academically. The Maybe the challenge were more like uh, cultural in some sense. I mean, um, I mean geographic, I would say. <laughs> because I did it. You mean in terms of weather? Yeah, in terms of weather, that was the main challenge. But academically, I don't think there was really uh, that much challenge in transitioning. So, and the, you found uh, Montreal a welcoming city, I yeah, presume? Yeah, Montreal was a very welcoming city. It's quite a fun city to be with. Yeah, I enjoyed my time. And then uh, you eventually... Um, now I uh, um, have a, a, a professor job in uh, Warwick in, in England. Mm -hmm. Is that correct? Yeah, it's a uh, lectureship. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And how uh, that's uh, yet another transition? Is that was that uh, complicated or? Um, yeah, I mean that's not as complicated as the the, the postgraduate studies. I mean, the system is certainly different, but. Um, yeah, it's, um, I mean, I didn't really experience any difficulty. In the, I mean, the, one of the main things that terms there are much shorter than what I was experiencing in Canada, but apart from that, it's, uh, I mean, it's, it's a similar... Yeah, it's rather similar. And so what, um, what would you... Would you have any advice to um, someone uh, thinking of about doing mathematics, maybe in the developing world, maybe far away from 
from the centers of standard centers of research? Yeah, so as I was saying, um, one of the, I feel like I can at least give advice to students who left uh, the educational system in Africa to um, study abroad in mathematics and or do research after the degree. Um, because from my personal experience, um, I didn't know anything about mathematical research when I left. Yeah, because, and so, I think, excuse me, but you said there were some challenges. What would be some example, for example, of your challenge, challenges that you would you would you faced, or you think people f- would face? Yeah, the main challenge is that you don't know anything about mathematical research. So, how do you choose a subject in which you want to do research if you don't know anything about? It? And I don't think the people that I was dealing with necessarily understood that. And um, so, you waste some extra time learning a bit about mathematics before you can choose um, the type of topic you want to work on. And I think if I can save some students the time of <laughs> wandering around before they can decide, I think that would be a, a good thing to do. Um, so you, you, you would say sort of overall advice sort of outside mathematics itself, but more of, of sort of uh, how to manage the, the, the learning process or the career. Yeah, yeah exactly. Um, the learning process of acquire the appropriate information about mathematical research and which would enable the person to make um, better choices much more quickly than I did. I mean, it took me a while before I could decide what I wanted to do uh, research-wise. 